Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles, back again for another review. This time it's the Kyoto Revoltech 1966 Batmobile. For all the amazing figures coming out of Japan, click the link in the description below to head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, a while back, uh, probably a couple of years at least now, I did a review of the Revoltech 1989 Batmobile, uh, which I still have right here. Um, and at the time, um, I said that it probably wasn't worth the uh, money that was being asked, uh, but uh, I saw that this 1966 Batmobile uh, was uh, on sale at Big Bad Toy Store, and that's not to say that it's still not very expensive. It's uh, about $70 US still, which is, uh, when you think about the conversion rate to Australian uh, right now, uh, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, but uh, I thought I'd give it a go um, and compare it against the 1989 version. And I have to say, I'm probably even more disappointed uh, with this 1966 version than I was with the 1989 version. Uh, but I'll get to that shortly. Uh, just to quickly go through the box art here. Get a few shots of the car, which uh, does look pretty nice in all of these promo photos. Um, and then the front of the box there. The inside insert does come with uh, this uh, fairly decent uh, printout, uh, but as always with these Japanese figures, similar to the SH Figo Arts, uh, they sort of jam them in the box and they all get distorted and uh, it ends up being an absolute waste of uh, time anyway, so I'll probably end up throwing this in the recycling bin along with the box. Uh, there is a nice uh, classic cartoon style, a uh, comic style there, which uh, is actually very nicely done. I do like that uh, picture there. But um, other than that, uh, that's all the packaging. It also comes with uh, two figures uh, that uh, comes with these separate little stands. Uh, it just comes with pegs in the feet uh, or holes in the feet that you peg into the stand. Um, the Robin here doesn't look too bad. Um, even the likeness in the head sculpt is uh, pretty good there. Um, no articulation, um, as you would expect in this tiny little scale, uh, but overall the paint app is pretty good. Uh, the Batman here, it sort of gives the impressions the arms can move with uh, those lines there, or the seams, but um, uh, I tried and I didn't want to snap it off, um, and I don't think they move. But again, the paint app is pretty good for this scale. Um, so I do like uh, these two. Uh, that you can stand next to the car but as you can see uh, the scale doesn't really match at all they are a bit too big for the car but what they do instead is give you a couple of uh, seated figures so if I just open the door here Robin is a little bit easier to get out it's just got a little flat butt there you can see molded in and you just sort of sit it in the the car seat there um, so this is a little bit smaller you can see there the batman itself was an absolute pain in the ass to get in holding the steering wheel in any sort of decent way if i can sort of zoom in there i managed to finally get his hands uh, sort of wrapped around holding the bottom of the steering wheel there uh, but uh, because it's so stiff and you have to sort of manipulate it underneath the steering wheel uh, where his legs go. It is uh, quite painful uh, trying to get him in there in a semi-decent position. Uh, so I'm not even going to bother trying to get it out again um, because I do want them seated in there. Uh, but overall, it doesn't look too bad once they're in there. Now the Batmobile itself, uh, overall the glossy black paint is pretty good. But I think what has happened... Um, and maybe because this has been uh, sitting on the shelf for a while, I think it released quite a while ago and it just hasn't uh, sold very well. Uh, but if you can, I'm not sure if it comes out on the uh, viewfinder there, I think I can see just a tad of it. The plastic wrap that they put around it, I think it actually um, reacted with the glossy black paint and has left some sort of residue or imprint on the paint itself. So you can see some of the, the difference in shading there. You can see it just on the edge there and then along the back uh, along here you can sort of make out a few of the blemishes there so that really sort of ruins the finish a little bit I think it's only on the 
the top part where the plastic was overlaid um, so you don't really see that on the sides uh, so everything else isn't too bad but it's a real shame that uh, that's happened to the black paint from a distance you really can't notice uh, too much but up close uh, you definitely can see it uh, the sculpt itself um, is pretty good I'm not uh, too sure on the uh, accurate details and there's no sort of information about the exact scale um, so I'm not sure what scale it is but uh, the overall details don't look too bad I do like the uh, turbine there now the wheels do have the same sort of Rev Revoltec uh, technology as the 89 Batmobile uh, you can even sort of fold them in uh, like the DeLorean um, if you wanted to sort of have it uh, in a semi-flying pose which uh, looks a little bit uh, ridiculous I'm not sure if it even ever did that in the uh, TV series to be honest uh, but you can uh, manipulate it like that and then of course you can uh, make the wheels turn uh, facing whichever direction uh, you so wish uh, but that's uh, pretty much the articulation on the the car itself uh, it's got a nice view of the underside there the engine uh, you can lift the bonnet so if you just press this little black button here um, that'll release a little mechanism which means you can lift that up and reveal the engine from the top uh, which I guess uh, is good for the few photo opportunities you might have but that's uh, pretty much uh, it really um, then this thing at the front here I'm not actually sure what this thing did because I can't remember it from the TV show but mine looks a little bit wonky so I'm not sure if I just heat that up with a bit of hot water or something I can straighten that up uh, but I didn't want to push it just in case that uh, completely snapped off um, these metal pipes at the back for the exhaust I guess look uh, I think they're for the exhaust I'm not sure what they are to be honest I thought that was the exhaust but uh, can't remember quite remember what they are uh, but they don't look too bad the uh, the glass the clear plastic here looks pretty good it's uh, no sort of frosting on it. it looks pretty clear the internals um, that's as far as you can open the doors the internals there look not too bad you can sort of see the uh, bat phone in there I think it is um, there's not too much other detailing the dashboard there doesn't really have too much on there and of course you saw the steering wheel before and of course the red siren light thing at the top there so overall um, it's got all the details on there um, but uh, there's no die cast there's no heft to it it really does feel very light and uh, flimsy um, so there's real no uh, high quality uh, build feature to it um, and in comparison to the 89 Batmobile I'll just uh, bring that back in um, I don't even think they're made at the same scale um, now I guess I don't know if the actual measurements of the 89 Batmobile were really that much different um, but uh, I guess if you compare them top to, to bottom it's at least oh, one two three centimeters uh, longer and uh, just looking at the wheel sizes and so on I really can't see how these two are scaled um, in the same way uh, which is a real disappointment for me I was hoping that they were uh, scaled in the same way um, there was no scale information on the the product specs or anything like that so um, I just took a punt that they would make them the same and uh, I guess they did not um, so that's uh, a little bit disappointing um, but that's pretty much it that's all I can really say about this there's no other um, accessories unlike the 89 Batmobile that had a whole bunch of stuff that you could attach and display and so on so I think um, the 89 Batmobile was definitely the the better purchase um, even on sale um, for this uh, car at about 70 odd dollars um, I really still don't think it's uh, worth that much uh, at all so um, if you're even remotely thinking of getting this I would definitely wait um, for even more of a sale um, and ultimately I guess if uh, remains in stock um, over the next couple of years it's going to end up in the bargain bin at some time um, and probably get it for uh, you know I reckon probably 30 40 dollars would probably be uh, about right uh, for this uh, particular Batmobile uh, because uh, at 70 odd dollars even with the 25% uh, discount or whatever it is on at the moment at Big Bad Toy Store 
it really is not worth uh, the money at all. So I'll probably just take it to work just like I had this one at work on my desk and just have it uh, sitting there as a nice little display piece. Uh, but really, uh, for the amount of money, they really should have done a much better job. Um, but uh, hopefully you like that look at this uh, 1966 uh, Revoltec Batmobile and uh, can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, my other piece that I got uh, with my Big Bad Toy Store haul was the uh, 3.0 DLX Optimus, which uh, uh, in comparison is an absolutely amazing figure. Uh, so hopefully you can uh, stick around and uh, wait for my views on that because um, I probably will be gushing a lot about it, to be honest. Uh, but until then, thanks again, and I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Cheers.